How will the gay marriage dispute play in the campaign? Obama campaign advisor Stephanie Cutter gave me her take moments ago on Mitt Romney's position regarding gay marriage. Mitt Romney wants to write discrimination into our U.S. Constitution. He wants a federal anti-marriage amendment denying uh, same-sex couples from marrying. So there's a big difference here. So number one, gay and lesbian, lesbian supporters believe this president has accomplished a lot, which is why they're supporting this president. And they also fully understand that Mitt Romney wants to roll back the protections that they have. And actually in states, uh, where states have adopted marriage, Mitt Romney has funded efforts to roll back back those protections. Kevin Madden is an advisor to the Romney campaign and joins me now. You heard Stephanie Cutter. She's made it very clear there are very big differences. Uh, the, the question occurs, you know, why is Mitt Romney so opposed even to civil unions? Well, I think that we, I, I would not try to get baited into the trap of always talking about what we're against. I think Republicans have made it very clear, and I think uh, Governor Romney has made it very clear what he's for. And what he's for is uh, the traditional uh, sanctity of marriage, which is between a man and a woman. He's made that very clear to people who care about the issue, and he stood by the issue. And there's no evolution. There won't be any evolving from Mitt Romney on this subject. No, I mean, when this question comes up, he's, he's very, elected president. When, he's when, not going to when, he can, when this question comes up, he's made it very clear that he believes that marriage is between a man and a woman, um, and that uh, as a party, that we're the party of uh, traditional marriage. And he's made that very clear to Republicans, and he's going to make it very clear to people throughout um, dur during this campaign. Six months out, we're talking about a $25 million buy in nine key states. And we look at battleground ground polls now today, the Politico poll, other polls showing it's basically a virtual tie. How do you, I mean, that's not a bad place to start from, <laughs> the challenger I'll to the president. You, sure. but, but it does show that there is some big advantages that the president has, the gender gap favoring the president, also his ability to handle foreign policy. So the outlines of your campaign going forward. Well, look, first of all, look, this campaign is right where it is where it is today, and I think probably about three weeks to a month out, we're probably going to be in the same position. It's going to be a very close campaign. I think President Obama is going to need uh, $25 million uh, uh, buys. He's going to need a lot of them because I don't think even that money is going to be able to help him um, cha change the American people's mind about the lack of leadership that he's shown on the economy. The economy is still the central issue here. Um, so as we go throughout this campaign uh, across the country, and any of these battleground states, we're going to be making the argument that, um, that President Obama hasn't done what to do to put the American economy back on track so that it's creating enough jobs to keep up to this economy. I mean, we saw just this last month 340,000 people drop out of the workforce because they because they stopped looking for work. I mean, that's not the type of America that we want to see in this country. Uh, that's not the type of economy we want to see. So um, I think that's going to be the central argument to this campaign. And I think as we begin to as we begin to go around the country and Governor Romney carries that message that he has a better way forward, that, um, that we're going to be um, in a very good position on Election Day. If the economy is the biggest issue going forward, is Rob Portman, a former twice a cabinet uh, member and from Ohio, uh, is he at the top of the list? Well, look, you're, you're always very smart to ask me these questions, but I'd be very dumb to answer. Uh, I can't really get into any... I can always president. hope that you're you dumb. You can, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you'll probably catch me. Um, Not but, so far. Yeah. Um, it, look, the, this is going to be a very um, long process. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, information involved about which, uh, which one of these um, uh, many uh, very worthy candidates would make the best vice president. And then ultimately it comes down to a one-man decision, and that's going to be Governor Romney's decision. He's going to make a decision based on who he thinks is the best person to help him uh, put the American economy back on track. Now, when well, Mitt Romney was running against Teddy Kennedy, he promised that if he were elected, that he would sponsor a federal non-discrimination act, returning to the whole issue of gay marriage. Why was he in one place when he was in Massachusetts and in another place when he's running for president? Well, I think that was a long time ago, and I think um, it uh, represents... If you believe in rights... Right. Well, I think I think there I think there's a very important distinction between rights and whether or not we should discriminate against people based on uh, their sexual preference. And then there's also the question of marriage, whether or not you believe that it is a contract and this institution should be between, should be between a man and a woman. I think he's made that very clear um, when he was running for office uh, early on, and he's made it very clear uh, to today that the, that's the distinction and that's his position. He also said at the time that he would of gays and lesbians in the military. 
Right, and I also think that he's made it very clear that as you go through the process of making those types of decisions, that you have to rely heavily on those who are in the military positions and those on the battlefield, the generals who are making those decisions. He's also made it very clear throughout this process that he would um, defer to um, the, the judgment of a lot of the military leaders. In this case, many military leaders did not believe that uh, Don't Ask, Don't Tell was something that we should, a policy that we should get but rid the of. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs and the point. Secretary of, the de of Defense did, but the, there were, there the, were the many top military man, the Joint Chiefs chairman, and the of the advisory group that advised the military advisory group that advised Bob Gates, then Secretary of Defense, said that they believed that they should go. And there was there was other um, others within the military uh, leadership who also uh, disagreed. And I think that the, that uh, that opinion also had an effect on Governor Romney as he uh, looked at that question of whether or not it was the right step to take for our military. And at the same time, when he was running for governor, uh, Mitt Romney declined to oppose a constitutional amendment, a state amendment that would block domestic partnerships? Mm -hmm. Well, declining to oppose and, and making it very clear what your position is on the particular issues at hand, uh, Governor Romney, when he has been asked about the question of, of um, marriage and, and the sanctity of marriage, he's made very clear that he believes it's between a man and a woman. Kevin then Great to be with you. You still don't prove yourself to be dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Kevin. Thanks. And up next, the Politico briefing all tied up in the battle.